Rahul Gandhi's disqualification is making headlines. Will it make him a political martyr and play to his advantage? Or will it entangle him in a web of cases and only weaken him further? Before we get to answering that, let's remember that Rahul is not the only Neta to meet this fate. In fact, since 2013, 12 lawmakers, MPs and MLAs both, have been disqualified after a conviction in court. Jai Lalita, Azam Khan, Lalu Prasad Yadav, to name just a few. And the biggie? Well, in June 1975, Indira Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi's grandmother, was disqualified by the Allahabad High Court. Let's take you back in history. Justice Jagmohan Lal Sinha of the Allahabad High Court is the man who delivered the verdict on Indira Gandhi. The petitioner was a man called Raj Narayan. Raj Narayan used to be famous as a wrestler in the Akharas of Banaras. In fact, the story goes that at his prime, he used to weigh 110 kilograms. What is clear is that he certainly packed a punch, both as a wrestler and as a politician. Raj Narayan, a socialist, stood against Indira Gandhi from Rai Bareilly in 1971 and was stomped in defeat. Mrs. Gandhi won that election by over 1 lakh votes. Narayan thought his defeat was unfair. He accused Indira Gandhi of electoral malpractices and the Allahabad High Court agreed. In June 1975, the Allahabad High Court said that Indira Gandhi was guilty of misusing government machinery and barred her from holding public office for six years. Mrs. Gandhi appealed to the Supreme Court, but the relief she got was only partial. The Supreme Court said Indira could remain Prime Minister, but could not vote in the proceedings of Parliament as an MP. The very next day, 25th June 1975, Indira Gandhi declared the emergency. So how will Rahul's disqualification play out politically? Wouldn't it be just smarter of him to say sorry and move on? Arvind Kejriwal, for example, said exactly what he wanted to about who he wanted to and then went on to issue apologies. He said sorry to Nitin Gadkari, Bikram Majitia, Kapil Sibbal, Arun Jetli, among others. Should Rahul do the same? Here's the deal. If Rahul Gandhi gets dragged in multiple court cases in election season, I cannot see the political advantage. He's already received a fresh court summons from a Patna court in the same case. And this time, the petitioner is actually an OBC himself, BJP leader Sushil Modi. There are eight other pending defamation cases. So either Rahul Gandhi gets a quick legal intervention or he makes a radical risky but possibly rewarding choice. He should opt for jail. A jail sentence for two years in a criminal defamation case is of course egregious, but without widespread public sympathy on the street, it may end up being a zero-sum game for the Congress leader.